Well, I'll tell you today, I thought defensively they gave us a chance to win the game. They got three turnovers, something that we haven't been doing. I thought that showed up today. That was good to see. Special teams didn't, didn't lose the game for us. Offensively, I thought we were out of sync a little bit. You know, we dropped some balls early. We threw some bad balls. Uh, at times, we didn't run it consistently. We were just out of sync. And I, I thought they did a good job mixing their pressures and uh, making us adjust to some things at the line of scrimmage. But we have to be better offensively for sure. Cam, start us off. Hey, Coach, uh, when you say you're out of sync, kind of what did you see initially? Was it trying to get Eckler involved in the game? What did you? Th- no, why do you think no, you were no, out no, of sync? No, no, we dropped some balls early. We dropped some balls early, and, and we threw some bad ones. You know, it's some balls that we normally complete. You know, uh, first half, I didn't think – I didn't see that happening in the first half. Okay. Hey, Coach, right there at the 10-20 mark of the fourth quarter, um, you had a comfort – you were kind of debating with the refs over there. What did you see and what were you guys talking about? I have no idea what time, you know, I had a lot of discussions with the ref today, so I don't don't remember what that was all about. Um, Okay, that's fair. Um, As you mentioned, kind of reversal of fortunes, your defense gave you guys the ball a few different times. You guys weren't able to capitalize on it. Um, I think we scored scored three points off of turnovers today. With three turnovers, yeah. Um, and then lastly, Austin Eckler, what do you think of his performance? Who? Austin Eckler. I thought he did fine. His first game back in a long time. It probably played more than he should have, but I thought Austin did fine. Thanks, Coach. Sure. Hey, Hamilton. Hey, Coach. Uh, what made the Buffalo defense, especially the secondary, so successful to kind of take out uh, your normal offensive weapons in Keenan Allen and Mike Williams today? Like I said earlier, we had some opportunities and we didn't we didn't execute, we didn't make the plays. But uh, you know they pressured and we knew they would, you know. And so uh, they got to got to us I think three or four times a day in sacks. And uh, when they weren't sacking us, they were getting a lot of pressure on us. So we didn't get to push the ball down the field like we normally do in our vertical passing game. But uh, you know sometimes you got to throw quick and run long, and we just didn't get that done. Thanks, Cole. Hopper. <laughs> Uh, hey, Anthony, uh, yeah. and then late in the fourth quarter at the end of the game, after you completed that Hail Mary to, to Tyron Johnson, you guys just ran the ball with 25 that was, seconds. That was left. completely miscommunication now, completely. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, with, with no timeouts, no time. 16 seconds, I think, on the clock. Yeah, yeah, that was completely miscommunication. So was that your call? Was that Shane's call? When you say miscommunication? I'm, you know what? I'm just going leave to it, leave it at that and just say that was miscommunication. Okay. At the end of the first half, uh, you opted not to use your timeouts earlier in that drive when you completed some passes inbounds. What, what was the thinking there besides not using behind not using your timeouts there? I'm not sure. Before the half? Yeah, at the end of the half, and then you ended up using your timeout before you punted. But previous, you know, the, you, I used, you completed. I used the timeout before we punted because we I was actually going to go for it right there, you know, and, and I thought it was uh, I thought it was a little, a little closer, but it was a it was a full fourth and two. I didn't like the defense they came out in. I changed my mind and punted. You know, there's no sense in taking all three timeouts to the locker room. So I, that, I, I burnt that timeout. I called it before he get ready to call the play. But yeah. Austin was tackled. Austin was tackled in bounds, and you let 15 seconds tick off the clock before you took the timeout. Why, why not take the timeout earlier there to save time? I'm I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm, and then I'm, I'm not sure that what, you, what you're saying. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, in the fourth quarter, you had a third in inches and, and you ran a speed option. Did, did you like that play call? Yeah, you love it when it works. I mean, it's, it's been 100% this year, but they, they stopped it. So uh, uh, I, I didn't have no problem with the call the Shane made right there. Yeah, I like to run right at him for, for inches, but we have circled the defense before with that play. That play has been really good for us. Uh, they played it well. Do, do you like Joshua in that specific play? I mean, obviously, Austin is... Uh, I, I like it, all my backs to go get a yard right there. I, I, th- I think we're fine. Okay. And then on the next play, I think Cam alluded to this. You you were arguing with the ref and then took a timeout before kicking the field goal. Was, did you take the timeout because you were trying to argue something with the ref? Do you, do you know why you decided to take the timeout? There was your first timeout in the second half. Well, it was – they spotted the ball fourth and two. So so we're going for it at fourth and two. But then when they when they got there at fourth and two, they backed back to fourth and four. And so what they did was they came over and said, we're going to give you your 20 seconds back. But I said, well, hell, I can't get my timeout back because I'm not going to go for it there on four. I was down two scores. I'm not going to go for it there on fourth and four. Fourth and two, I was going for it. 
So they they changed the spot after you took your timeout. Yes. The, no. They brought the they, they changed the spot after they spotted the fourth and two. They went back to fourth and four. Then okay. that's when we had to use our timeout. Because so you they, didn't think they, they gave us time back on the clock, but obviously you couldn't get the timeout back. At that point, you didn't think you were going to be able to get your field goal unit on in time, and that's why you, you took the timeout. No. At, at that point, we were going for it. We had to get get them off the field and get the field goal unit out there. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Dennis Freeman. Coach Lynn, you talk about the way your defense played today. Can you talk about uh, the performance of uh, Joey Bosa? He had a couple Joey, sacks in the uh, fumble recovery. I thought he played outstanding. He was pressuring the quarterback all day. He had a uh, fumble recovery. I, he hustled well, played in the running game. I thought he had one of his best days. All right. Thank you, Coach. Gilbert. Hey, uh, Anthony, more on clock management. Do you feel like that's been an issue uh, this season? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I would sit down and talk you through every one of our, our decisions. I'm not saying that it's been perfect a, at all. But, uh, I mean, what happened today at the end of the game, like I said, was miscommunication. And we had to burn a time out there on that supposed to have been fourth and two, turning into fourth and four. Uh, yeah, but those, those are situations where uh, I, I will use a timeout. I would not let the team be in a bad situation because – of a spot. Was there any reason for the miscommunication on that play? Well, I didn't think we lost five yards on the play or four yards on the play, whatever they gave us. And so they spotted where we thought it was going to be. I mean, it was third and inches. Uh, I thought he lost a couple yards. So he had it fourth and two. I thought that was the correct spot, but obviously it wasn't. They moved it back two more yards. That's a big difference when you call them plays at fourth and two and fourth and four. Okay. And Anthony, can you provide any more info on why Brian Bullard didn't play today? Brian didn't feel, he didn't feel good. Uh, came out, tried to go through pregame, uh, had upset stomach, just didn't feel good. He's just, he's just sick, not a Kobe related? Not that I know of. Okay. And uh, one more, Anthony, maybe a little off topic from football, but uh, going from coast to coast with the COVID spikes, did you guys do anything differently from this travel trip? No, we just tried to, you know, we, we wore masks and uh, we did our social distancing. We did t 10 feet instead of six feet, but, uh, um, just normal protocols. Our protocols are very strict and uh, they're designed to get us through this season. As, as long as we pay attention and, and do those protocols, we should be fine. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, Jeff Miller. I just want to get uh, make sure I understand this. The, the timeout you called on the fourth that you thought it was fourth and two and had to be like fourth and four. Did you call that timeout? Was one, that was one down, down in, the, in the tight red zone, yes. Did you call timeout to talk to the referees about the spot or to because of the you had to get the I, I wasn't sure if you did it because of that or to get the field goal team out there? Well, both. I wanted to talk to them about the spot because I thought it was fourth and two. Uh, it looked like it was fourth and two and they moved it back two more yards I mean, without telling us. And I, I decided to kick a field goal right there. We was only down two scores. Yeah. OK, um, if we're fourth and one, fourth and two, I feel like that risk and reward is worth it. But at fourth and four, I'd rather get the three points and then try to get the seven on the next possession. And then it, it ended up not really mattering. But right at the end, with like three seconds left, all of a sudden the field goal team looked like they were running out there. What was happening there? No, but if, if four seconds, four seconds or more left on the clock, we was going to kick a field goal and then try to onside kick and throw a Hail Mary. Okay, but it was three seconds left on the clock, not four or more. So I had to get them back off the field. They ran out there. They thought they was going to kick a field goal. But... It was the last play of the game. Every play is going to take three seconds to run. So that would have been the last play of the game. So I had to get them back off the field. Okay. And but then they, they, they were alert. They were ready to go. Um, and Jerry Tillery had a couple of personal foul penalties. Uh, it looked like at one point you were talking to him on the sideline. What What did you tell him or what? Uh, what what's kind of the message? Just tell you can't hurt the team that way because they, they drove down, they went down the field and score on that first personal foul. And, and they probably did on the second one as well. But you just can't keep giving them cheap 15 yards like that. Jerry's a very aggressive player. Sometimes he'll push the envelope a little too far. Uh, not necessarily a bad thing for a defensive lineman, but uh, today it hurt us. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, that'll do it for us. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.